Hello everyone, today we're going to work on Toto. Alright, so to start working on Toto, uh, this is the dog that I had picked to be uh, for Toto. And I still really like this. Now it doesn't exactly look like him right now, but I'm hoping I can change this up uh, to look more like him. But just in case if I don't like it, I did find this at the Dollar Tree. And you're all going to fall in love with this one at first. Because this little dog actually looks kind of like Toto. It's already brown. And it looks like it would be just the perfect little dog uh, for the part. But I'm still hoping to use this one. You, you probably think I'm crazy, but... I'm still wanting this one to work, and so we're going to try to transform this, and if we don't like it, if I don't like it, uh, I may go ahead and use the other one, but um, I just want to see if I can make this work about how I've been planning on doing it. So the first thing I want to do is take the tail. I'm actually going to cut the tail probably completely off. Um, I'm just going to real carefully cut that off. Well, I don't even think I'm going to go all the way off. I'm just going to go like this. And then I'm going to try to find a way to keep it up that way. So I may fill this in with a little hot glue and just carve it down to, uh, you know, put a wedge between there so it don't fall back down. Um, so I'll probably use a little hot glue, I guess is what would be good for that. But, um, and then I'll go through and kind of round this off here where I just cut that. Okay, so I got the glue gun heating up. And while that's doing that, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to paint him brown. And then I'm going to try and cover it with this fur. This is just some fur I got at Hobby Lobby. And I think the best way to start is to chop it up real fine. Almost like a... Just super, super fine. Kind of like a flock. Like when you flock a doll's hair. Um, like the original Ken doll had flocked hair. Um, so I'm going to chop some of this up really, really fine to put on the legs. And then I'm also going to do that under the belly. Uh, so this lower part will be flocked. And then what's up here will be a little bit longer. And I may just start kind of down on this area, gluing it and doing it in layers until I get to the top and then start on this side to where they'll be apart all the way up his back. Um, so that's what I, that's what my plans are. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. Now, of course, after I get that on, I can trim it up and style it, but that's what I'm hoping. And I probably will flock, uh, the face like, uh, up in here could be flocked. And then I'll probably put some longer pieces hanging down the uh, muzzle. And then that can be trimmed up later. But uh, And probably flock the ears. So I'm just going to take my little fine uh, scissors and just chop me up some of this while we're waiting on the glue gun to heat up. Okay, so what I've done is I've started cutting that hair. And I just take a little bit. And snip it off here. And then I'm just trying to chop it up as fine as I can get it. And then when I get a little pile of it, um, I can kind of pile it up. And then I'm still going to go into the pile like this and chop it a little bit more just to make sure I'm really getting that really as fine as I can because I don't want any long hairs sticking out 
But if there is long hairs, uh, you know, I can trim them up later after they're on it. But it'll just be easy to just sprinkle that on the legs uh, after I put some glue on them. So, I mean, the way I've got this pictured in my head, it's going to be so easy. But, and so far everything's easy. So let's just see how it goes when we put the glue on the legs and actually try to do this. But it, the way I've got it in my mind, it's going to be really easy and look amazing. So who knows? I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. Now, I kind of got this idea from a dog I saw on the internet where I'm thinking it was sort of done this way. Uh, now, I don't know how the maker of that one did, did it, but I just looked at it and kind of guessed at how I would do it if I was making that dog. And I'll try to post a picture of it. I don't know if I should post a picture of it or not, um, but I may do that. I may even just share a link to the dog. It's one that I found, I think, maybe on Etsy. Uh, and I thought, hmm, I love how that looks. So maybe I can try to recreate that. So that's what we're going to try. So this is just probably like the, uh, what was the other video? Oh, the basket video where I just totally butchered that woman's video trying to do, you know, her version uh, which it did turn out pretty decent in the end, but here's another video where I'm trying to copy an idea, and I'll probably butcher this too, but I'm just hoping it's going to turn out as cute as I'm thinking it's going to. All right, so I've chopped the heck out of that hair, and I'm just going to let that sit there um, while I work on Toto's tail. And I actually have glued that, which I totally didn't even uh, video that as I was working on it. But all I did was just squirt some hot glue there. And I'm just holding that until it dries so that it, you know, don't fall back down, um, which I think it's almost dry. And then I'll just take my blade and kind of carve that glue down a little bit if it needs it. Um, but that's pretty good. That worked out really, really good. And now it won't fall back down the way it was before. Um, so once I carve that down and make sure it looks the way I want it, I'm just going to paint it brown. So before I go to paint that, I just wanted to show how amazing that tail looks. And what I actually did, instead of taking the blade, uh, I actually just went in there and touched it with the hot tip and just sort of melted that to the shape I wanted and it's just curved it and shaped it just so good I mean that just looks so 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 good I'm so thrilled with how that looks but um I just wanted to show that before I paint it because I didn't know if the paint would kind of uh block out some of that uh detail all right I had to get me some sweet tea and uh so I've got the dog painted, and it actually looks amazing. I mean, just it just looks like a whole new dog. I'm so loving how this is looking, and I almost thought, don't even put the fur on it, but I, I really think it's going to look good. So I'm still going to continue with the, uh, the fur process. Um, and I'll just poke this blade up in there to hold it so that I can paint it. And uh, I, I just am so obsessed with how this looks. I... Uh, so far, it's looking just as good as I was hoping it would. So I'm so excited to get to start the fur, but I am going to put one more coat of the brown paint on there before I do that. I've just been using acrylic paint, um, but I just wanted to show it uh, before I start putting that on. Of course, I'll show it as I'm doing it, but I was just so excited when, when I seen it become brown. It was just super, super cute. All right, so... I've got him painted, and I've got me some tacky glue right here, and I've put just a little bit of water in there, just like a drop of water, because I don't want the glue to be thick. I'm trying to think ahead and hoping that if the glue goes on thinner, it won't be so bulky looking, because I don't want it to really hide the shape of the legs, because it's going to be glue plus the fur, 
So it's really going to bulk up his legs and stuff, and I want to try to not do that. So I'm just watering that glue down. And I'm going to kind of just quickly do this. I'm going to just take it and glue. I'll just do the two back legs to start with. I don't want to do go too far ahead because this glue will dry quickly. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to make sure I completely drowned it in that glue and water. And then holding it with the blade like I am, that's really helping a lot. Because when I'm done with this, I can just stand it in something to hold it up until I, until it dries. And this may look kind of funky at first, but... You know, again, here in a little bit, I will trim it up. So I'm just going to sprinkle that. Well, that's not much sprinkling. That's just like a big old glob. But that's okay. I just want to make sure I cover that really good. And what I think I should do is take like a soft, dry brush and just kind of pat that real lightly. Now this is experiments. This is an experiment. I have absolutely no idea if this is the best technique, but I think it's probably going to work. The glue may show through and look white, but that will, you know, dry. And what I think also, see, I want to, I want to do this slowly. I don't want to rush this because I want this to look really good. So I'm actually going to not even try to knock that off. I'm going to let that stay there. Um, I'm going to let that sit there until that dries. And I may actually just run up here and throw some on the front legs while I'm at it. And then I'll get his belly a little bit better after this is dried and cleaned up a bit. But I just want to do it step by step and take my time. So I'm going to do the legs. I ain't worried about the bottom of the feet. He don't really need a lot on the bottom. So I think this is going to turn out pretty decent, I hope. <laughs> but just make sure you kind of press that into the glue. Just do the entire head. Um, but it may need another coat after I clean this first one up. We'll just have to wait and see what it's going to look like. And you kind of want to work quick because, like I said, that kind of wants to dry. You could even, like, lay it down in there like this and press it on. Oh, that's really good. Ooh, I like that. And I can sort of see, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but yeah, I kind of sort of do see the... Uh, well, I like doing this a lot without even having to touch anything. Just let that do the work. But, um, what was I saying? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, the glue. The glue will dry, so I'm not worried about that. So he's just going to sit there. He looks like a poodle. Of course, he won't once he gets covered all the way. But that, I think this is going to turn out good. I've got high hopes for this. So he looks a little funky right now, like he's had a bad grooming experience. But 
uh, I think it's going to work. So we'll leave that alone. I'm going to let that dry completely. I'll go stick that somewhere and then come back here in a little bit. All right, so I've let that dry. And another thing I did is I did the tail because I had forgot the tail. But I've took my finger and just sort of tapped it off. Uh, so this is what it's looking like so far. And I just absolutely love how that looks. Um, it, you know, tapping that uh, got a lot of that excess off or excess off. Um, so that's looking so, so good. And then you can sort of see some of the long hairs. We'll trim that up at the last. I'm not worried about those right now. I'll try to clean up around the mouth and nose and all that too later. But right now it's looking really cool. And I'm trying to decide if I want to put the long hair on it or if I just want to flock the whole thing. I think it would look better to have the long hair to be able to style it and to hopefully make it look more like, uh, you know, how it should, I guess. So I'm going to start by well actually i need to flock the little belly and get that out of the way so that it i just think it'd be easier to do that before i start adding that long part um so i've just beat that off there like that and i'll cover the little stomach first and then i'll just start layering the long hair on there so I've got that globbed up on the belly so that that can be sticking and I'm going to knock a little bit of that off. That's looking really cute. Alright, so I'm going to layer the hair. I am going to do it all sort of longer because I, I want it to look more long like it would on that type of a dog. Um, so I'm just going to go with a line of glue. right across where I stopped the flocking. Just from his little tail to the front of the chest. And I'm going to do this um, in layers. Like I'm going to do this row and then I'll do a second row. But I've just got the hair cut long and I'm just going to lay that down just like that so I'm going to press it down with my finger And I think doing one row at a time will be much better. You want to let this dry completely. Like I said, you do not want to rush this. I want this to turn out looking really good. So I'm just going to take my time. Now I can go do this side and let it dry. And then just continue until I get to the top of the back to where I can make a part. Um, but I'm just going to build it up like this in layers until I get him covered. All right, so I've got that layer, that first row around there, and I'm actually pressing it down onto my little chopped up pieces just to uh, any kind of glue that might be showing or coming through. That little flocking can, uh, you know, cover that and just kind of be like an extra layer. So I'm just making sure that I press it all down, but be careful doing that because if you get the glue on the brush, it may pull that hair away. So just don't be too sloppy with the glue. Just get enough on there to, you know, make the hair stick. But that's how I'm leaving it for now. I'm going to let it, let it dry, and then I'll tap that uh, loose hair away, and then just start the next row doing the same thing until I get to the top. Now, one thing about going around the top of that first layer 
is it's putting this glue on top of that or those ends like the ends where I started it's putting that glue right over that which is also helping that first layer stick better so that's really good that it's doing that and again you don't want to pull on this or try to style this at all until it's completely dry and then I just made a boo-boo right there those little drops are gonna make a mess oh gosh well shoot I'm just gonna try to oh my gosh I really didn't want that in there try to just brush that away so there's my second layer just layering that hair but watering that glue down what I was wanting to say is watering that glue down makes this so much better all right so there's how he's looking um, he's a shaggy little dog, but I think he might need a little bit more at the top. I don't know how it's going to look, so I'm just going to let this completely dry and then go ahead and try to shape it up a little bit. Maybe not trim down here yet, but I just want to clean the back up so I can see what's going on on the back. And then I may try to take my blade and poke it back in the belly area so I can focus and work better on that uh, the back of it. But right now he looks, I can vision it. I don't know if y'all are thinking, whoa, what's going on, or if you can vision it like I am, but I think this is going to turn out pretty cute. So anyways, let's let it dry, and then I'll come back and clean it up a little bit. Okay, so here's what it looks like now. Um, I've trimmed up the back using these tiny little scissors. You want to use the tiniest, sharpest little scissors that you can find. Um, and uh, so far it's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to do one more row of hair to um, create a part. I can do a little on each side here uh, and try to make that look like a part. Um, and then it'll be ready to style it. Um, I'll have to pull up a few pictures to see exactly how it needs to be styled. So this is where I had that hair glued down and it was sticking straight out. And I took my hair dryer and blew straight down on it, which just gave that hair a real pretty curve, like it made it flatten down to the body. Um, and what I was wanting to do is flip that hair over and then do the other part, uh, the other strip of hair to create that part. But it looks really good up here. Um, you can, it's, I'm, I'm just going to kind of say it's rooted up here or it's glued down like this is where the like if it's growing out and then it's just hanging down so pretty that I'm just going to try to just leave that alone I'm not going to try to flip it so I'm just going to try to do the exact same thing here where it's coming down I'm just going to do the same thing on this side and glue that hair here uh, to hang down uh, I'm doing it a little bit different than I had originally thought but this side just looks so good that I just want to do the same thing over here and what the crucial part here is to make sure that these cut ends are perfectly flat and straight to go right up here to where it will look good and then once I get them glued on I uh, just go in with a little bit of that watered down glue just to secure the ends and I'm gonna, I really love how the hair dryer kind of made it pretty. Like it just, like I said, it just, you can see how it's pretty and it just ain't sticking out like crazy. But, and also I can tell that my glue is still not completely dry. Like I was, I squeezed it a second ago when I was trying to do something with it and that glue under there is still wet. So you definitely don't want to squeeze it. And make that glue show through here because that would just completely ruin it so anyways i'm going to get that last bit of hair put here and blow dry it down and then i'm not going to touch this actually my little niece is wanting to go watch a harry potter movie so we'll probably do that while i'm letting this dry all right so here is that last bit of fur and i'm going to try to point this out 
I don't know how well it stands out, but you can almost tell where the part is. And it's not exactly how I wanted to do a part. But um, now these this last bit of fur sticking out here, uh, I want to go right across here, right over the roots of it, just to glue them down a little bit better. I mean, you can tell kind of there how that pretty light, the sheen to it, the shine to that hair, how it's laying down there. And I just, I'm so nervous. I want to just uh, real carefully uh, take this water down glue. Now you want to make sure you water this down. It just makes it so much easier. Um, I definitely don't want no hair or no glue getting over here on this pretty side. So it's a very tedious job. You just want to be very, very careful. Take your time. Make sure your brush is clean. Don't have any loose hairs on that brush because that could just get in the way and cause it to mess up. But I'm just trying to glue those ends down. And what I think I actually want to do with that being done Ooh, okay, I want to take a little bit of that flocking, those little cut pieces, and actually go down and just try to cover that glue so that glue doesn't really show. And this is a very tedious little project. You just got to really, if you have to, take a whole day to work on this. And then um, each time you glue a piece, let it dry. Do not fool with it when you've got a lot of wet glue on it. So just like that, I'm going to leave him like that. And then when I knock that off, which I don't even want to do that till it dries a little bit. But um, I think that's going to look really good when it's done. All right, so here's what it looks like now. And that looks really, really good. Um, you can't even see the part. I mean, it just looks so good. Um, I'm real glad I put that little flocking down its back. And I don't know why my camera keeps going bright like that. But um, uh, it looks really good. And um, what was I going to say about this? Okay, so what I did is I just took my hair dryer and just blow dried it down. And that heat just kind of shaped it around the little dog. So it looks really amazing. And all I got to do now is just kind of shape and style the hair. All right, so I don't really think... I'm just going to... Let me see what I'm going to do. All right. Now I'm like straddling this camera. Oh my gosh. I'm at an odd angle, but I, uh, I'm just going to snip into the fur, kind of going up, not straight up like this. I'm hoping so bad this silly camera will stop getting bright like that. Okay, so I'm not wanting to cut it straight across, or it's just going to look like you've cut it. So you just want to texturize it. I don't even know if that's really what I should say. You just want to trim it up, but you want to cut the direction the hair is. Don't ever cut straight across because then it'll just look like it's been cut. And you'll start to fill it, cut it. And I'm not going to brush this at all. I think I've pretty well got it uh, glued pretty good. But I'm just going to go in snipping it the way you see me doing. Oh, and something else. I did put some longer pieces coming down from the muzzle, like his little nose and stuff. Um, I was watching a movie the other day. I'm not really sure what, what it was. But they had a little Karen Terrier in there, 
And I was so convinced it was the same dog because it was a movie from like the 40s. And I swore up and down that that was the same dog, but I was wrong. It was not. If I can figure out what that movie was, I'll share it in the link or something. But I'm just going to cut a little bit at a time. And you can kind of see it shaping up. I love how you can sort of see its little legs peeking through there. But I'm just going to snip this just a little bit at a time so I don't take too much. And we're just snipping. And snipping some more. And here's what he looks like. I think he's turned out so, so cute. Um, now, I did go in with a little bit of paint, and I tried to paint his eyes and his nose. I darkened uh, the feet just a little bit and the ears, because I was from the pictures I was going by, um, he's got a little darker feet and ears and stuff. So, I think he looks pretty much like Toto. Um, I think it looks way more like a Toto dog compared to what we started with. And as far as a size comparison, it's a pretty good size for the doll. Um, I mean, it's just, to me, it's an amazing transformation where it started out as a husky, uh, you know, to a little Karen Terrier. And its little butt just makes me think of a Karen Terrier because they've got these little hips on them with these little skinnier legs. And to me, that looks like a little Karen Terrier. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, the only thing I'm going to do now is just spray it down with hairspray just to help hold the hairs together more. But uh, I'm really excited about it. So now I'll take some pictures uh, with the basket and stuff and see how it looks. All right, now here's what Toto looks like spinning on the little pedestal. And again, I'm really excited with how it's turned out. Now in the book, it describes Toto. It says, Toto was not gray. He was a little black dog with long silky hair and small black eyes that twinkled merrily on either side of his funny wee nose. Toto played all day long, and Dorothy played with him and loved him dearly. Now in the book, to me, they draw him like a Yorkie. He's really small, and he's the way they colorize him and draw him, he looks very much like a Yorkie. And I will argue all day that Toto should be a Yorkie. And, of course, uh, in the movie, it's played by a Karen Terrier. And it's, you know, obviously not a black dog. But, um, you know, and it's just neat to see all the different types of Totos through the different movies and books through the years. Um, here's what he looks like with the little basket. I think the size comparison to the basket is really good. There's that tiny picture of Dorothy and Annie M. I'm just absolutely crazy about it. I cannot wait to just continue this project. Uh, probably we'll be working on Dorothy next. I don't know when, but that'll probably be my next step in the Oz uh, project that I'm working on. Um, now, originally I was going to start a Scooby-Doo video today, but I thought I'm really anxious to get on with this dog. So, of course, that's what we've done. And, uh, you know, I'm tickled with how it's looked. And um, so now he'll just sit there waiting on Dorothy. <laughs> 